this is the 1950s campo that is going to become a chem lab. You can see back there, it's pretty big. And it's, uh, it's actually a lot nicer on the inside than a, right now on the outside. So we're towing it away with this tractor uh, before I can start doing like the transformation. I'm gonna, I'll show you guys inside right now. So this is it on the inside currently. It's pretty gross, but it's not that bad. Um, I think that this is where I'm gonna set up the actual chemistry table. And then I just gotta tear apart some of this stuff. After I'm leaving this stove, and this is going to work as like a miniature fume hood, I think. Uh, cabinets will be for, you know, chemistry, glassware and stuff. I'm going to replace this fridge because this is a propane powered one and I want an electric one. In here, we have a gross bathroom uh, and then some beds. I'm going to rip out these beds and, I don't know, maybe make that like a miniature storage room or something. We'll see. Um, that's about it. So, look, we're going to start towing it, and then I'll show you the transformation process. Trying to pull it, let's see if it explodes or not. Might explode. If it explodes, this won't be a video, so... So this is going to be its final resting spot. So you can see that this trailer hasn't been registered since 1962. Um, let's see if anything happened on the inside. Let's see if uh, anything broke. Things look good. This cabinet flew open. Mattress tipped over. So I'm just cleaning out the cabinets now. Throwing any, everything away. I wiped down this counter, cleaned the sink a little bit, cleaned the uh, stove a little bit. It's definitely starting to look a lot better. So I actually don't know what's in like a lot of these cabinets. I'm kind of curious what's in the one over there by the bed. Um, so I just opened this one and there's a toaster right there. I'm not quite sure what's in this. I have no idea but some mice are living in there, so I'm just going to throw that entire thing out. Yeah, right here, I have that. So I'm just going to put an extension cord, a heavy duty extension cord, and put it through one of these windows or something, and maybe drill a hole. I don't know yet. But I'm going to somehow get an extension cord from this into there. It's pretty much finished, so I'm going to give you guys a little tour. So this is where I'm going to record my videos. I got some melamine right here and on the walls to make a nice white background for when I'm recording chemicals. Over here, I have a microwave, uh, you know, in case I want to make plasma again or something. In here, I just have some packaging. And here, I just have pretty much nothing. Down here, this is just stuff that came with the camper and this little fan. So this is where I keep most of my chemicals and whatnot, in the kitchen area. So I have some hydrochloric acid right here. In this cabinet above the stove, I keep, I keep my radioactive stuff in here. This is all uranium stuff. All of this stuff has uranium in it, except for this, which has thorium. Down here I have some more chemicals, plus the chemical from one of my recent projects that I haven't packaged up yet. I have some equipment like this Geiger counter, that scale, this uh, hot plate stirrer. Here I have some iodine, some mercury, um, some stuff I just got in the mail, 50 grams of potassium, some cesium chloride. In here, I have some elements. More elements are in my uh, bedroom, but they're not here right now, so. Uh, down there, not much interesting stuff, like I have some extra sport models just some tin foil and whatnot. In here, I keep my glassware. So I have some glassware right here, some more glassware and some squirt bottles and whatnot. And then up here I have some salts and some other chemicals such as sulfuric acid. And 
In this cabinet, I keep most of my stuff for my metal foundry. You can see I have some crucibles down there, and here I have some molds and a pair of heat resistant gloves. This is where I keep my bulk chemicals. So I have some like aluminum powder and iron oxide and sulfur, tellurium, selenium, that type of stuff. And my mortar and pestle apparently. In here is where I keep my glassware that's broken, but still usable for something that might break it further. In this cabinet, I have just some pots and pans, nothing really interesting there. You can see I have my lamp. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, not anything crazy, but I think it'll definitely increase the production quality of my videos. Uh, you can just see for yourself that it's going to be a really nice background. Uh, this is probably a relatively quick video, but I thought you guys might think it's kind of cool watching this old camper transform into a laboratory. Please subscribe, like the video, comment, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and all that. All the links will be in the description. Uh, peace out.